I've had 12 weeks on snow in my whole life. So on Friday, I'll have close to 13 weeks on snow if, I, if the race takes me a week to finish. But um, the, hopefully not. Hopefully not. It'll be a good story, won't it? So first step, finish before they turn the lights off. That's number one. Don't ski into a tree. That's number two. Um, my worst 15 kilometer was an hour 40. I lost a ski coming down a hill. And it, I mean, it sounds, a bit, it sounds a bit like a joke, but I tell you when, you, when when your spirit says you always finish a race and you lose a ski in the first lap of six laps, you question your spirit sometimes. <laughs> it's really hard to have idols that you race against because you want to talk to them, but they keep flying past you. So that's the only real... That's the real only opportunity you have to, to see them. And by the time you get to the finish line, they've already gone home, had coffee, had dinner, and uh, are asleep. So you don't have much time to, to talk to them. You know, the truth of the matter is, is that I've had a short time on snow. I won't, I won't medal on Friday. But in four years, someone from Tonga might. In eight years, someone from the Pacific might. But more importantly, people from the Pacific, these kids who are watching now, they will have access to something that they never knew existed before. And to me, that's why I'm here.